In fact, basic. I'll show you the Montessori school because our university school is a Montessori school. But I don't call it a Montessori school. But time is not fixed. Right. All I'm saying is treat the guy, the kid, so the kid feels good. How did I learn? Play golf. Somebody gave me a five iron and a putter. And, is, the, and the four of them played and I played. I've always said that. I, I, one of my things that I've always said to teachers and students and, and whatever trains I give, have given is I've always told them that a good English class should be like a good night out at the bar where you're sitting around a table and you're talking with your friends and it's something that you're, you're enjoying and you're, you're wanting to engage in. Because we naturally, and I think if, you've, if you think of bad relationships that you've had in your past, you naturally forget the times that are bad and you hold on to the times that are good. Because if learning is attached to negative emotions and negative feelings, just who we are, we're not going. We're not going to retain that. However, we're going to retain what is we we feel and what what made us feel good and what we liked. And those are the times. I still remember. I still remember stories. I remember my grandmother. I'm from Texas, by the way. I remember my grandmother telling me stories uh, about the Alamo as we were making the bed. And it wasn't so much that the stories engaged me, um, but it was just that that time spent with my grandmother sure. made that, that, and it's that emotion that's attached to those stories that I've carried on into my study of the subject over years. So yes, I, 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 I agree. I know I tell people, don't carry garbage. And if you're smart, you may not even let it in. Not too smart, you let it in, but don't carry it. Don't carry grudges, don't carry garbage. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it as quickly as you can. Yep. Because it, but it's like, but I think in education, creating a stressful environment in a classroom, creating a, creating a time where it's, we had have, we have, we have a colleague teaching, Fred, was a whore who didn't understand this concept at all. Um, that, he treated students the way he was treated as a student. In the way he learned, but it was this yeah. sort of pressure that he put in it's, that it's... Nah, you don't want that. You don't pressure want that. is good. A little pressure sometimes is good. A little pressure. Guided but pressure. It's kind of Guided tenuous. pressure is not so bad. I picked, took up golf when I retired at 65 years of age. And it looked like an easy game until I got the club. Yeah. It's not an easy game. No. It's a frustrating game. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it when I had a sabbatical. And one day I stopped playing. And I said to the guys, excuse my language, I'm not going to continue to kick this fucking ball in the <laughs> white hole for, for four and a half hours. I'm not going to do it. So not having fun. I didn't go out for a while, and then I started to go out and play nine holes. Right. And I relaxed, and I enjoyed it. And I go out now on on Saturdays with my son, and we play best ball. Right. So we par and come back. We two Saturdays ago, we were four minus on nine holes. Oh wow! Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was fun. I don't, and it's only an hour and a half. Right. <laughs> so at so 8.30 I come home and I read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Before I didn't get home until almost noon time. Right. And I was tired. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was frustrated because I didn't hit four around the par. Mm -hmm. I hit 20 over par. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's good. That it's, it's, I've, I try to instill in my, sometimes my, I have a son and a daughter and they'll, They'll construct these games in that in their head, and then if the games if we can't play the games exactly how they construct them in their head, they get frustrated. And I tell them we can change the rules of the game to make the game more fun. Just because we just because we set out and decided this is what we're going to do, and these were the rules. Well, this doesn't work, so let's do it in a way that's more fun. And that's a it's, sometimes it's a it's a hard concept to get across. 
and I don't know, maybe is one is because they're, you know, things are so structured for them to have that, that you, you have to, it's weird that you have to teach innovation, isn't it? Sure. It's a weird concept. It seems like innovation should be one of the things that just springs forth. Because it deals with strategies and it deals, deals with other kinds of activities that you don't really get rewarded for. You get rewarded for staying in a box. Mm -hmm. Friday taking your exam and getting an A. And if right. you get a B, it's not so good. You get a C. Mama you says, what are you doing getting a C? <laughs> yes. But if the kid had had until Tuesday of the next week, time is a, time is a variable. He can take sure. it when he wants to. So you, you do consulting, right, with the ASF? Is that the Yeah. Thing? Right. And so if someone came and said he was starting a school, I mean, he's got a very specific idea in his head. It's almost because... If he there's hires you, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, it's this location in the Bahamas. It's a camp, right? Originally it was a summer camp. Or it was something. a summer camp for... Um, it began as a summer camp for kids to study marine biology. And the individual who owns the place had it accredited for both undergraduate and graduate classes through University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, which um, I don't know a lot of. I know the university. I worked as a placement officer.